Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to go over a really quick auto window tinting case study. So this campaign specifically is really just targeted towards auto window tinting, doesn't really cover residential or anything like that. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk through the different parts of the campaign. And then later on down the line, I'm probably going to upload some more in-depth uh, tinting videos in relation to Google ads, uh, you know, how to do keyword research, how to set it all up, all that kind of stuff. But um, today I'm just going to kind of go overview the campaign, show you a bit of the structure and all that kind of stuff. So if you like videos like this, make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton. And if you are looking for somebody to actually set up a campaign like this and run it for your tinting business, uh, just let me know. Uh, there's a uh, link in the description below. You can apply for a quick consultation and, uh, and yeah, so let's jump into it. So this particular campaign, it's a little bit of a newer campaign, but, um, between about November 19th to today, January 6th, um, we have gotten 147 clicks. So about $993 spent, 147 clicks, uh, click through rate of 8.5%, which is pretty solid, but some of these click through rates do need to be improved. Um, that's all part of the optimization process. The more data you get going through the campaign, the more you can work on those click through rates, the more you can work on the conversion rates, all that kind of stuff. Um, Cost per clicks coming in around $6 and 76 cents. Uh, we've had about 45 conversions in that time. Conversion rate sitting about a 30% and our cost per conversion is coming in at about $22. So these conversions, um, they are, if we go into here, we go to conversion, conversion action. Um, we can actually see uh, what has come through. So 13 of those conversions were people actually clicking on the phone number on the ad. So 13 phone calls from that. There were 17 landing page form submissions. And I believe the, if off the top of my head, it's name, phone number, email, um, type of vehicle they need tinted and then whatever service they need. And then on top of that, there were 15 phone calls from the landing page. So um, my mental math is atrocious, but uh, it's more uh, phone calls and form fills for this one. Um, we're, I believe we're running mobile only. I'll check on that a little bit later, but um, some of the keys to getting these kind of results, especially with the conversion rate as high as it is here. Um, the biggest thing is obviously you wanna have the structure of the campaign uh, pretty organized. You wanna make sure you're selecting the right keywords, but the biggest thing is you wanna send that traffic to a landing page. Um, landing pages nine out of 10 times, depending on the industry, will convert better than a website. Um, so that is huge if you are gonna be running uh, Google ads for your tinting shop, you want to make sure you have a landing page or at least a really, really well designed and optimized website. Uh, in terms of the bidding strategy, since it's a bit of a newer campaign, I'm testing out running um, manual cost per click. In some cases, I would just do like maximize click, uh, maximize clicks. This one I'm doing manual. I just wanted a little bit more control. And um, some other things we can go over is I will jump into the keywords here. So you can see some of the best keywords that we have. Let me just go to enabled, get rid of the paused ones. So window tinting near me, this one, I guess it kind of depends a little bit on your market. I um, would keep an eye on it to see if, you know, maybe people are looking for residential window tinting. Typically what I've seen with people just typing in window tinting near me, they're looking for generally auto window tinting. So you can see uh, window tinting near me, 27 clicks. 29% conversion rate, eight conversions at $23 a conversion, which is pretty solid. And a lot of the keywords, you're gonna wanna have uh, very bottom of the funnel keywords. So window tinting near me, uh, window tint shops near me, car window tinting, tint near me, uh, car tint shop near me. You can kind of get an idea of the type of things that I'm bidding on. And another big thing to keep an eye on is we wanna make sure that you have phrase match keywords or exact match keywords. Um, this is a little bit of a smaller market, so I want to have some of the phrase match keywords in there as well. If I was in a bigger market, um, I would potentially even just put an exact match to start out. They might be a little bit more expensive, but um, the quality of the traffic is just a little bit better. So make sure you have a you know, phrase match, make sure you have your exact match keywords and make sure those keywords are uh, bottom of the funnel, really, really high intent keywords. And for this particular campaign, if we go up to here, I think believe yeah we're running mobile only on this one so uh, a lot of campaigns i might start with computers as well but on this one uh the mobile landing page which is converting better and then also at the same time um if you're running mobile only it'll tend to skew more phone calls than form fills which is what i would prefer um phone uh phone calls are higher intent they convert higher um 
form fills typically a little harder to get hold of and they just t- kind of don't close at a high enough rate. So we want to get more phone calls. Usually just going mobile only is a better way to do that. But if your market is too small, um, sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge. So this particular market, it's not the biggest market. Um, so kind of we're, we're um, pushing it a little bit by just going mobile only, but it's been working out. So um, that's pretty much it uh, on this campaign. Um, if you do want to learn a bit more on um, how to set these up, I do have longer tutorials. Like I said, I'm going to be coming out with more videos specifically around window tinting. Um, but if you are uh, the owner of a tint shop and you want to set up and run a campaign uh, specifically for auto tinting, I haven't really dabbled in like residential or anything like that. But if you want to do auto window tinting, uh, just let me know. There's a link in the description. You can apply for a consultation. And on that consultation, I just kind of see if I can help you out. Um, unfortunately, I can't help everybody out. Um, but yeah, if you do want somebody to help you out with this, go to the link in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.